Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a lot of money by making crafted armor and selling it on the guild stores. So this method is actually pretty passive and something you can sort of do. It takes you about maybe 20 minutes to set up and then you can just have your stuff selling over a period of like a couple of days and then just keep refilling your traders whenever you have free spaces. So this means you can be grinding something else so you can be doing trials whatever you want to be doing and you can just also be making money in the background. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is basically stock up on CP 150, 160 materials. So this is stuff like Rubidite Ore, uh, it's going to be your beetle leather, it's going to be your ruby ashwood, stuff like that. Uh, you just want to stock up on that and then you're going to be using all this um, to make all your armor obviously. So basically the cheaper you get all this, the more profit you're going to make. But essentially you're going to make so much profit off these that it doesn't really matter how cheap you get them. You get them at like regular price, it's going to be perfectly fine. We're going to be making so much money that it's literally irrelevant how much these things cost. So you want to just keep going around and buying all your gear and once you have all of your gear basically then we can start buying our trait materials so the importance of trait materials is that basically obviously if you're crafting armor you're crafting weapons people want their armor weapons in a specific trait you know they don't really care about style or anything uh, they just care about you know what weight it is if it's heavy medium light and they care about what trait it is if it's m pen if it's infused stuff like that so you can see here i literally got a stack of diamonds near enough for you know 1.5k so these are really really cheap this isn't going to cost you much at all you basically don't even have to factor in these and you probably have a lot of these in your you know inventory in your craft bag already just from deconstructing stuff so once you have all your base materials like your ribidite and you have all your trait materials like your diamonds all you have to do is just travel to a guild house or somewhere where you know there are crafted set tables and then you just basically want to pick a set that's quite popular at the time and typically you want to try and pick a set that's quite difficult to make so for example in this video, I'm going to be showing you an example of using the new moon set. So the new moon set is actually nine trades, so you have to be a grandmaster crafter essentially to make the full set. So if we go over to the crafting tables, I start making up new moon. Um, basically, not a lot of people in the game can do this, so it limits how many people can sell it. And also, right now, it's I think the best PvP set for Stam and maybe even Mike as well. It does both both sets. So. Basically this makes it one of the most you know sought after sets and people are just willing to buy it for like 18k, 15k a piece and it's literally only going to cost us maybe 3 or 4k to make and upgrade the purple so that's a really really good profit margins here. So the important part whenever you make a piece of armor or a weapon is simply just to you know make sure that whenever you're over your materials you select CP 160 and not 150 and then you also select a, a trade stone because sometimes you know whenever I'm crafting myself sometimes I forget to put a trade stone on or I'll forget to flick that up to 160. And you know, you sort of wasted your materials a little bit, but not too much of a big deal, but just something to look out for. So in this video, I'm using New Moon as an example, but you can do this with basically any set you know is popular or you know there's a demand for on the market. Uh, but I'm just gonna go over New Moon and exactly what you know I build and exactly what I sell. So essentially I use um, an Inferno stuff and a Lightning stuff. I make those, I make them both infused. You can use other traits if you want to make multiple, but I just don't have too many guild slots open, so I just make two infused stuffs. So I make a lightning and an inferno and then I just upgrade those to purple and actually upgrade every single thing I have to purple because it's actually probably less than 500 coins to upgrade something from white to purple and you know it really makes a difference when people are trying to buy stuff they're going to buy a purple one over a white one just because it looks. So you want to make a inferno stuff and a lightning stuff and then on the clothing station you want to make basically an entire outfit of light armor without the helmet and shoulder. And you want to make an entire outfit of medium armor for the helmet and shoulder. And at the heavy armor station, you want to make basically all of the two-handed weapons, mainly the two-handed axe, I think is the best. And then you also want to be making, you know, a heavy armor chest. So most of the rest of the heavy armor doesn't sell too well, but the heavy armor chest that uh, people really, really want. So you can also make jewelry for this. So basically jewelry is a little more expensive to create. Uh, it's about 5-6k per piece of jewelry you make, but you still sell them for like 15k, so it's still a good profit. Uh, the only thing is, obviously, um, I wouldn't recommend necessarily upgrading your jewelry at all. I would just leave it at white and throw it in a guild store. So just make it white, and I wouldn't worry about too much you know, making it infused or anything, because it's really expensive and it's also quite niche, and I might not want an infused ring. So if you can just sort of get the rings and throw them up in a trader like Robust or Arcane or something like that, uh, they're a lot more likely to sell and your profit's going to be a lot better. Also, the reason I say upgrade to purple and not to gold is basically because once you upgrade to gold, you obviously have to pay a lot of trader tax. So the trader tax really cuts into your profit margins and also you get a listing fee, it's a lot higher. And it just generally, you don't make a lot of money making a gold. And also there's not a lot of people who are going to want to pay like say like 80k for a golden piece of new moon. 
So I've tried it before and like I literally still have some gold pieces up from like two weeks ago. So basically people just generally don't want to buy it because it's too expensive. People just want to grab little 10, 20k pieces uh, for PvP builds and just jump into zero They don't want to spend like hundreds of k, so like 500k for a full set. So I don't recommend doing gold. So I'm just going to go over my guild history in Chile. So basically I'm just going to show you guys that, you know, these things have been selling today for 18k. So, you know, there's multiple seals. Uh, I've even sold a thing. So just so you know that these do sell for this amount and I'll just make that up, you know, for a video or something like that. So keep in mind that I'm on Xbox EU and, you know, obviously on NA server is going to be different. On PC it'll be different. P uh, PS4 is going to be different. But in general, the price, you know, profit should be about the same, you know. So say on PC, these are like 10k each. Price of material should hopefully be a little bit less, so you can still make a lot of profit here. So what you can see here, I just go over to my guild store. You can see all my stuff's listed for 18k, except I listed the jewelry for 15k, just because, you know, it's white and, um, you know, there's not really any special trade on it. So I just want to sell that a little bit cheaper. So basically what I recommend whenever you're actually selling is to try and get a full set, if you know what I mean, in the same trader. So get your full set of medium armor in one trader, get your full set of light armor in one trader, uh, try and get your melee weapons in the trader with the medium armor, try and get your staffs in the trader with the light armor, and then rings you can sort of just throw by based on the trades. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, so hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully you can use this method to make some money for yourselves, and if you did like it, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel for some more videos like this, and I will see you next time.